Streamlabs just released a brand new YouTube tool called Oslo that gives content creators a way to video review and work with others to make collaboration a breeze. And I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about it and how to use it coming up. Hey, what's up all you content creators? Wild for Games here to make sure everything you do with Oslo is gonna be a breeze. Now, if you're not familiar with Oslo, and you're probably not, because it's brand new, Oslo is a YouTube tool that allows you to collect feedback on your videos in the past and send them to friends or colleagues or even sponsorships. This makes it a lot easier to figure out where changes need to be made with notes on timestamps and you can outline certain things so this way everything is streamlined for when you want to launch your YouTube project. Oslo has a lot of unique tools, has a central hub to upload and share projects in the cloud. It comes with a built-in project management and annotation tool and allows you to upload directly to YouTube. Oslo pretty much eliminates the need to upload and re-upload your projects to get approval from your friends, colleagues, or sponsors. Nice and easy. So now that you know what it is, let me show you everything you need to know on the computer. Let's go. To get started, we need to first download the program. Go to oslo.io. Log in with your Google account and you're done. After you log in, you will see your main projects page. From here, upload media, utilize versions of management tools, and invite others to your project. Create your first project by clicking on the new project button and give your project a name. Select your preferred permissions and email notifications. By default, you get email notifications anytime someone adds a comment, joins the project, uploads media, or changes the project status. You can upload new media to your project in three different ways. Click on the plus sign next to media to browse the select files to upload, drag and drop files directly onto the project workspace, create and share a secure upload link that allows video creators and others to upload files directly to your project. To create a new upload link, click on the Upload Links tab in your main product page. You can set a link expiration date and paraphrase it to ensure the right people have access to it. After a piece of media has been added to your project, you can invite your team, a colleague, or friend to become a collaborator. As a collaborator, they can have full access to the project and assets or just the ability to leave comments depending on the permissions you grant them. To send an invite, double click on the piece of media and press invite. Please note the number of collaborators you can have will depend on your Oslo subscription tier. You can also share media with external users for feedback through review links, which are free and unlimited. To create a review link, right click on any of your media assets and select share. You have the option to name your link and customize your permissions. For example, you can choose to allow reviewers to download your files or enable a password to protect your media. You can easily manage your review links in the review links section. And you can also disable links you no longer want to share. After you've uploaded your media and invited members to collaborate, there are several ways to leave feedback. First is commenting. Once you start typing a new comment, the video will pause and give you time to complete your thought. Your comment will be timestamped at a specific time frame for everyone to see and click on. You can also drag the handle to indicate the range of your feedback. Click the check mark on the left to add general comments without a timestamp. You can also draw to leave feedback. Select the paint tool brush to draw directly on the video with different shapes and colors. The drawing will not affect the original upload file. You can also reply to a specific comment in the threaded conversation like a comment to resolve those you've already addressed and hide resolved comments to keep track of outstanding feedback. Once you're done, change your file status to help your team keep track of the project's progress. This allows your team to understand what stage of feedback cycle each media asset is at. When it comes to uploading and managing the revisions, Oslo makes it real easy with a management feature that allows you to keep track of all your media with version stacks. When you upload a new file in your project, drag and drop it on top of the original file to create a version stack. The new file will stack on top of the old version. This helps you easily browse older versions if you need to. You can upload as many versions as you like after the new video is done processing. 
reorder the versions by dragging and dropping the versions in any order you want. Lastly, click on the icon to remove the version from the stack. Easy version management tools keep everything very organized. Oslo allows you to publish to YouTube directly without ever leaving the platform. Publishing your video project is simple. If you're in the media file view, simply click on the publish to YouTube button. Next, fill out the video information like title and description. Finally, select an image from your project library or upload one from your computer. Your videos will be uploaded as private videos to your YouTube account until you're ready to share it publicly. Oslo is just getting started. It's got a lot of future integrations that it wants to incorporate. It wants to add Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro so creators can view comments, annotations, and feedback directly in their video editing software. Oslo is free to use and comes with options to upgrade to a gold and diamond tier for up to one terabyte of extra storage more collaborations and VIP support. Oslo is a pretty fun and interesting tool if you plan on doing any type of collaboration or working with friends. So I recommend checking it out, especially since it's free. Now I'm gonna do you a favor. If you wanna learn any more about Oslo, I'm gonna leave a link down in the video description below that'll take you to learn a little bit more about it. Or if you need a refresher, take you to the blog that is associated with this video. Until then, I'm gonna put a few videos here up on screen. They're gonna help you out even more with your content creations. And until next time, I will see all of you awesome content creators later. Take care, and of course, peace.